So I'm here in my video manager on my channel and uh, we're going to be working on the seventh video which is to set up the Ublox GPS compass module. The last one we covered was this one here which was setting up the Minim OSD with the software configuration tool. Alright, so let's proceed with the compass and GPS setup. So the first thing we want to do is wire in the GPS and compass. Now the u blocks has two connectors on it. The one over here is for the compass and it's a smaller cable. It has four wires on it and it plugs in as you can see right over here on the APM 2.6. The other set of cables right here starts out with a six pin plug and there, as you can see there there's one wire missing from the six pin plug that's normal. Those five wires that come off it converge down here on a five pin plug which plugs right here on the, on the APM. And I'll just stretch them out so you can see there in parallel all the way right straight down and so the one that was missing is eliminated down here but all the wires are right in a row on both sides it's just there's one missing when you start out and this was the cable the one I'm talking about right now the 6 pin to 5 pin cable was the one I was missing for a long time uh, they didn't send it to me with a kit. I got another cable that was made for probably the APM 2.5 and it didn't fit and by calling them on the phone, I called 3D Robotics on the phone, they eventually sent the right cable. So to start out with we need to get this arrow aligned. See this arrow here? That has to be facing forward on the aircraft and aligned with this other arrow on the APM facing forward. Okay, next we want to go to the we want to go to the instructions at this link right here, which is on the uh, ArduPilot wiki for the uh, 3DR U blocks GPS and compass module. So then we just want to follow these instructions. It's fairly straightforward so I'll just go through it for you. You can read these on your own if you want to. I'll put a link under the video. So first thing is to plug the APM into the USB port on the computer. The GPS uh, compass module has two lights. One is a red light down here that just shows the power is on and the flashing blue light means we have a GPS lock. You'll also notice that the APM is flashing blue instead of coming up with uh, a green, a solid green light. Okay, the blue light on the ArduPilot Mega has gone solid and uh, we do have the GPS lock. Also, I wanted to mention on the ArduPilot 2.6 you do not have to cut the etch to put on the external compass because the ArduPilot 2.6 does not have an internal compass so you don't have to do any modifications to it. You can just plug on the U-blocks and pretty much that's all the setup there is to hooking it up. Okay, let's launch the mission planner. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to configure it is to go up to Initial Setup. And you'll see right now, as usual, there are not many selections showing up right there. In fact, the one we need for mandatory hardware is not there. That's because we haven't connected. So we need to go over here, make sure we got the right COM port and baud rate. And then click the Connect button. Warning. Battery at 0 0.1 to volt. No. Well, that's true. I don't have a battery. I'll just turn off the sound. And we'll let it connect. 
Okay, now you can see these other options popped up on the screen. You probably notice my video is a little clearer now on the screen because I'm using Cam Studio to uh, actually screen grab the video. So the first thing we need to do is click on Compass under Mandatory Hardware here. And then come down and make sure we select the external compass right here. And then make sure the, the roll is 180 down here. The rotation roll is 180 for this particular one. Actually, there's a little note right here. Please select none for standard APM. Select roll 180 for new 3DR GPS slash magnetometer, which is what we got the U blocks. <clears throat> so that's all selected. It's interesting they have a, a YouTube example here you can click on. Let's just go in there and see what they're talking about. Oh, okay, here's a movie here. <laughs> how about that? Looks like he's going to show how to set it up with a copter. So that's something interesting to look at. All right, so the next thing after watching the video is to go ahead and do what he was doing, and that's the live calibration. Data will be collected for 60 seconds. Please click OK and move the APM around all axes. Well, in this case, I'm not going to be moving the APM because actually there is no compass or, you know, in the APM. I'm going to be moving the U-Blocks GPS compass module. So... Let's go ahead and click OK on that. And now I got 60 seconds to go ahead and move this in all directions. There's going down, there's going up. Uh, there's on its back, back forward. I'm going to go left and I'm going to go right. And I think that's all the directions I got. Our seconds have ran out. Okay, so we got minus 59, we got 13 and 109. And it says, these have been saved for you. I'll just click OK. Alright, so that's done. Now the next thing I want to do is just go back over to the Mission Planner um, flight data screen which is right here, and just see if the GPS is working now. Okay, I've plugged it back on the battery. I'm off the USB cable. I'm going to turn on the OSD and see what I can see on the screen as far as the GPS goes. Here's what we have on the screen now, and I noticed a couple of things showed up I didn't have before. One was my home direction, that's now showing up and my distance from home. Those two things weren't even on the screen until I enabled the GPS compass. And also down here we've got the GPS lock right here. And that uh, that was just blinking on and off before so now I know it's locked and I've got a good GPS signal right there. Also down at the bottom we have the uh, coordinates. GPS coordinates right here of the where it's sitting right now, when we're up in the air, that will change. Next, I think we're going to install these uh, telemetry radios to basically give me a connection between the mission planner on the computer and the ARDU pilot. In other words, they're going to replace this USB cable and they'll basically be a wireless USB connection. So when we're up in flight, we can still communicate with the mission planner and send commands, receive telemetry, and whatnot during the flight. <laughs>